Well, this piece of rough ground used to be a reservoir. And when they were building this reservoir in the early 1900s, they found the skull of a dinosaur, the dinosaur Proceratosaurus. All that has been found of Proceratosaurus is the skull and mandible and was unearthed by F. Lewis Bradley during the excavation works of the Odd Reservoir near Minchinhampton in Gloucestershire. Paleontologist Arthur Smith Woodward examined the specimen and named it Megalosaurus Bradleyi in 1910. Woodward based his Megalosaurus Association on the number of premaxillary teeth, which in the case of Proceratosaurus is four which was different from the two other well-known theropods at the time, Ceratosaurus, which had three, and Allosaurus, which had five. Based partly on a similarity of the nasal crest, Friedrich von Huhn considered this specimen to be ancestral to Ceratosaurus and renamed it Proceratosaurus in 1926. Proceratosaurus was considered an ancestor of Ceratosaurus up until well into the 2000s. This started to change with the discovery in China of the dinosaurs Dilong in 2004 and Guanlong in 2006. A more recent phylogenetic study in 2010 showed that Proceratosaurus is actually a member of the Tyrannosaurs. Yes, you heard that right. This little creature is related to the most famous dinosaur of all, Tyrannosaurus rex. In fact, at 167 million years old, Proceratosaurus is the earliest known member of the Tyrannosaur family and it shows that these creatures diverged from other theropods in the early to mid Jurassic period. So with what we found of Proceratosaurus, how do we know that it is related to the Tyrannosaurs? The 2010 study found several characteristics that combined are only found in the Tyrannosauridae, and these include a very short premaxilla, a pneumatized jugal, the presence of reduced ventral swelling below the posterior end of the orbit in the jugal, a posterior ventrally facing ventral surface of the basophenoid, pronounced size difference between the premaxillary and maxillary teeth, the anterior most premaxillary teeth have a D-shaped cross-section, serrations on the premaxillary teeth, a pronounced size difference between the front and rear teeth, which is characteristic of other early tyrannosaurs. Proceratosaurus also has a strongly enlarged nares, which is also found in Guanlong. The surviving dorsal crest only covers the snout. However, looking at the closely related Guanlong, this crest could have ran across most of the length of the skull. The skull of Proceratosaurus seems to have come from a young adult, and size estimates place it at about 3 meters long, weighing somewhere between 28 and 36 kilograms. So where does it sit in the dinosaur family tree? Proceratosaurus is part of the Tyrannosauridae within a clade called the Proceratosauridae, named after itself, that also includes Guanlong, Sinotyrannus, and Chylescus. The Proceratosaurids represent the earliest and most basal known Tyrannosaurids. They're mostly small in stature and still possess some of the features of other theropods that their lineage had diverged from, such as longer forelimbs and three fingered hands capable of grasping. Small and relatively fragile. Proceratosaurus gives little indication of what its relatives would eventually become. 